From being dirt broke and living on his mother's couch with no college degree to being rich enough to afford a Lamborghini, how did Ty Lopez do it? You're about to find out in this video, so keep watching. Humble Beginnings Born to a single mother in Hollywood, California and spending the greater part of his life raised by her and his grandmother, Ty Lopez is the kind of man that doesn't spill too many beans about his personal life. Given the fact that he is extremely internet famous, that's a big deal. What about his dad? Well, the man was living a life as a bodybuilder who even won Mr. New York in the 50s, but that's about it. He didn't make any difference in Ty's life, and we're guessing his mother tried as much as possible to make up for it. Ty did get to meet Arnold Schwarzenegger later in life, so we could say that's one bodybuilder that did show up for him. Well, back to the Ty Lopez story. Similar to what most celebrities today had in their childhood, Ty came from a family that didn't have much to their name. They were barely able to get by and afford the basic necessities. Tough. When Ty was 16, he became fully aware of his situation and wanted a way out. So he went the smartest way he knew, to ask for some advice. Of course, that would be his grandfather, who was a scientist at the time. Ty learned from this conversation that he wouldn't find the answers he wanted all in one place, and he would have to read as many books as possible to connect with mentors. His grandfather took it a step further just a week later by sending in about 11 books on the theory of civilization. And that's how he became obsessed with reading, at least a book every day. But Ty felt that this was not enough and took one of his biggest risks yet. He dropped out of college. You would think that anyone who made the daring move to drop out of college at that time would at least have a good plan and a place to fall back on. But not Ty. He didn't start a life for himself in a fancy place like Vegas or even attempt to become a Hollywood famous. Instead, he decided to head over to India, where he worked in a leper colony. Weird choice, right? Well, best believe that's what he did. Then Ty moved on to a self-sustaining farm, where he lived for more than two years with the Amish. You can clearly see the big difference between Ty then and now. Then, he wasn't focused as much on material possessions and was all about gaining knowledge. But today, well, just take a look at his garage. The difference is staring back at you with expensive headlights. Finally, Ty couldn't get by anymore, and he had to go back to America where his mother was waiting. He moved back into his mom's home where he bunked on the couch with no prospects for the future, no degree, and of course, an empty bank account. The young man tried not to give up, but this was difficult, especially as he had nothing impressive on his resume except maybe how good he was at milking cows. It took the right words from an uncle for Ty to make the move that would change his life forever. So one morning, Ty set out in search of something that would let him in on the secrets of making money. After checking out the finance sections of his phone book for a while, he picked a name randomly, put on a suit, and approached the businessman. His proposal was simple. He would work for him for free if the businessman could teach him everything he knew about making some real money. And it worked. Ty got his first mentor and made good use of the opportunity. Within a few years, he became a certified financial planner at GE Capital, where he worked in wealth management for two years. Not long after, he decided to create his own company, LLG Financial. In 2003, while also investing in several dating sites, when he realized that men were always asking him about how they could relate better with women. Obviously, his ventures were paying off, and before long, Ty had gotten a crib in Hollywood Hills, where he continued to work with multi-million dollar businesses. The move to social media. Ty's major breakthrough came with his social media skills. While he worked as a financial planner, he was also going through a little bit of self-education. From his relationship with the businessman, Mike, he learned how to sell and cold call. But with a lot of reading and attending seminars, Ty discovered Google AdWords and how to use it to generate leads online. At that time, it was still pretty new but he was one of the first to discover the huge opportunities here, increasing his net worth. Before long, Ty was closing a lot of leads and earning more than $1,000 in commission for every $200 spent. Talk about huge returns. But what truly had Ty Lopez internet famous was his In My Garage ad. Ty had already started creating several social media accounts at this time. He had accounts on almost every social media platform buzzing at the time, including YouTube. So this ad was the attention he needed, and he put it to good use. If you were active on YouTube about five years ago, 
then there is a huge chance you may have come across this ad at least once. So what was it really about? Well, Ty had just created an online training program he called 67 Steps. Just like the name says, he was going to teach anyone who subscribed monthly to his program 67 Steps on how to achieve the good life. In this video, he was showing off his cars, Hollywood mansion, and book collection, telling people he was living a good life and he would reveal the secrets to them. And he used the fame from this video to build his brand. Of course, there was some controversy about his claims in the video and the true source of his wealth. Many people refer to Ty Lopez as a scam artist. His videos have been viewed more than 60 million times and even YouTubers have created several videos surrounding their reactions to his 67-step program, calling it a get-rich-quick scheme. Knowing that he is one of the most successful affiliate marketers of this era, is that really what Ty Lopez is? Well, some people think so. He successfully introduced himself as a guru with the secret to wealth creation, and his programs have been the moneymaker helping him fund a lavish lifestyle. But not many people agree that he actually had done something to get rich himself. Still, Ty understands that not everyone will subscribe to his methods or become a fan. He is not just the creation of the 67-step program, but offers tons of other mentorship programs and training on his website. Ty went on to create MentorBox alongside Alex Murr. Of course, this is another subscription-based program, but this time, it was very similar to a book club. Instead of reading books, well-known authors would discuss their books in video classes and include written summaries. Today, this is one of the biggest book clubs in the world. By 2017, Ty Lopez had become such a big deal in the internet marketing world that he was ranked number one on the list of social media strategists to watch in 2017. This list was released by Entrepreneur Magazine and they were impressed by the millions of fans he had on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. He would say that one thing that changed his life was discovering what his motivation is. While the school system didn't exactly teach him how to overcome procrastination or be productive, he was able to figure out that it took a little bit of the materialistic things and other things like traveling and freedom to know what truly motivates him. Ty is a well-known social media influencer with a net worth of about $60 million. He's led several TED Talks, sitting down with big names like Abigail Rashford, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Larry King, and Mark Cuban. And he did all these because he was able to attract millions of followers with his love for mansions, books, and cars. Now you know how this influencer moved from his mom's couch to Hollywood Hills. And that's a wrap. Do you think Ty Lopez is a scam artist? Let us know in the comments. And did you like this video? We're always posting amazing content like this, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.